Hello. Welcome to the New Days channel. I am your girl Raquel. New Days, where every day is new, down to every hour, every minute, and every second. New things are always coming out for you because the universe is working out for you and never against you. Thank you for joining me on my channel today. I am super excited. I appreciate you. I'm grateful for you. Diving right in. How to deal with difficult people or difficult circumstances in your life. Are you the difficult person? I'm just asking, you know, because sometimes we need to look inside of ourselves. Not, not sometimes, all the times. Like, what is this situation trying to teach me? Why do I have a, a disconnect with this person or a difficulty with this person? And um, I will always recommend going to the higher source, higher sources for answering these type of um, questions. Like, go and go and get into your meditation. If you don't meditate, um, we all meditate. We just we probably don't realize it or not. But anything that you're doing and you have focus on, and it, and you're focused on for a period of time, and it seems like time passes by, you are in a trance meditating. Even when you're watching TV, you're tuned in. Like it's just tuning into the inside instead of tuning in to the external uh, world. But we're talking about how to deal with difficult people and difficult situations in our lives. I wrote about this in my blog. Check it out, newdays.com. Bless everything in your life. Bless everything. It's, it's really quite simple. It seems like it's hard, but it's when you gather control of your own emotions and you gather control of your own thoughts, you can bless everything in your life. It doesn't matter how it's going, how it's turning out, because I guarantee you what you bless will change and it'll change for the better because you're you're giving it a you know a positive charge pleasant energy you're putting forth you know this faithful optimistic energy towards it saying you know what this may seem to be posing a problem for me but i bless it i bless it bless everyone you meet bless everybody you encounter it doesn't matter if it's the person who flipped you off and hey you know what i bless you and I release you, meaning you don't have any power over me to control me and how I'm going to react. You don't have power over me to control my emotions and, hey, make my whole day turn around and bad because you and I had this altercation or this, you know, encounter. It's like, bless it. You have a, dis a disagreement with someone, you leave them, um, or, you know, out of their presence or in their presence. I bless you. When you leave, try that. You had a disagree with somebody? Say, ah, we may not agree, yet I bless you. I bless you. And I, you know, I'm, I'm sending all the love that I have to you instead of the reaction of cursing them out. Because in essence, you're cursing yourself. Um, we're all connected. So whatever you do to another comes back to you. You talk about someone bad, you're talking about yourself bad because we're all reflectors. Remember, you never see your face unless you look in the mirror. So the, the person that you're looking at is a reflection of you. And if there's something inside of them that that they project that you don't, you have a problem with, it's something inside of you that you need to heal because because it shouldn't be bothering you to that degree. But everything you bless, it releases you from the hold. It releases you like this has no power over me. Like I'm a powerful being and I choose to use my power in uh, more productive ways. So therefore, it doesn't matter what you do. I bless you. You don't like me. I still bless you. You know, it doesn't matter if this person tries to trigger you. Try this. I bless you. You leave their presence. You don't go and complain and go off on this tangent and just generate this whole whirlwind of just unpleasant negative low energy instead i bless you i bless this person that i just had this you know disagreement with this argument or whatever i bless them you know we should bless every we could bless everything in our lives and watch it change the bill the bill that you have made, you know, this bill, I may have difficulty paying. I bless this bill. I bless 
every bill that you're paying, I bless it because there's someone who can't pay their bills right now, who lost their job or fell on hard times, became sick or something like that. They would love to pay the bills that you may be complaining about paying. I bless these bills that I'm playing, paying. I'm blessing this car that I'm driving. It may not be the car that you want at the time, but you have transportation. I bless it. Someone's giving you a ride when you don't have transportation. I bless this person that's giving me a ride. I bless the car that I'm riding in. You know, I bless me arriving safely to my destination. I bless the bed that I get to sleep in at night. I bless the clothes that I have on my body. I bless the person that I am. I bless the love that I feel inside, the love that I receive from others. I bless. And you saying that you bless everything is merely saying that you're grateful. And blessing everything is just the highest form of gratitude. You're saying, I am grateful for everything that is happening in my life. And it could be five dollars i bless this situation you could be negative in the bank i bless this situation because you know what when i can put good energy towards it when i can put pleasant energy towards it optimistic energy it's going to change it's going to turn around for me because the universe is always working out for you and never against you and when you see that when you see that and you go you know what i don't know what's going on with this situation but I bless it anyway. I don't know what's going on with this person, but I bless you anyway. I bless this person anyway. Bless every single thing in your life. Bless the organs that's in your body. I bless these organs. I know they're working for me and not against me. I bless my organs. You've heard people say, bless your heart. You know, like when somebody's trying and maybe they they, they maybe seem like they're coming up short and then someone says, oh, bless your heart. Bless your heart. Bless their heart. I bless your heart. Bless your own heart. Say, I bless my heart. The heart carries so many things, so many um, things that it can get heavy and full of so many resentments and guilt and confusion and pain. And, you know, that's that leads to heart attacks. Like, we attack our own hearts with all of the things that we carry inside of it. Bless your own heart. Hold your hand on your heart and say, I bless my heart. If you if you have any problems with your heart, if you feel um, any kind of pain, just imagine a, a, a white ball of light in your hand. You can make a chi ball with your um, hands, both hands, where you imagine a, a ball of white light in both hands and you can just kind of you know gather up the energy and you can take both or you can take one hand and just press it together and imagine that white light going into your heart and you can say bless my heart bless my heart bless my heart you know bless any organ your kidneys your lungs your spleen your I, I don't care what organ it is Bless any of the organs in your body. Bless your limbs. If you have hands and arms and legs and feet, bless them. You know, somebody may not have that, but bless what you do have. Bless everything you have already. Bless it. Everything, before you drink your water, we, we know that the body is made up of over 70% of water. The brain is the majority of water is over... 80%, even the earth's surface is more than 80% of water. And we can bless the water before we drink it. I give blessings to this water. You're putting back in your body what your body is already made up anyway. So the waters in your mind, in your brain can be disturbed by um, you becoming you know, frustrated, uh, angry, you know, um, sad, those waters are going to move in your body just like you move. And it's not that we don't feel these emotions and it's not, oh, you should make yourself feel positive all the time. I'm not definitely not saying that because whatever emotion that you feel, you're doing the best that you can right now at this time and you should feel it. You should never like try to like, oh, I'm going to not make myself not feel this. No, 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 no. Feel it all the way through so you can analyze it and figure out what it is and say, oh, you know what? 
I bless this emotion because I know it's trying to tell me something. It's delivering a message to me. So I bless it. I bless it. And so I can release it and let it go and move back in to a place of my true nature of love and happiness. Bless every single thing in your life. Bless every person, your children, your significant other, your parents. You know, if you're blessed to have parents alive, bless them. Bless your cousins, your friends. Give them blessings instead of, you know, talking bad about somebody. Bless them. Even if the person just, it's something about that person where you guys are like oil and water. Still, bless it. Bless the situation and I promise it will change for you. A blissful heart and a blissful mind will have no conflict with anyone. The conflicts will just fall away. Once you feel bliss in your heart and bliss in your mind, you're like, not my problem, not my issue. This feels too good to be centered in this goodness, in this good feeling. And remember, I always talk about Abraham Hicks who says, all that matters is that you feel good. That is the most, oh, when she said that, when I heard her say that, and I just and she said it throughout one of the videos I watched years ago, that's always stuck with me. If I don't remember anything else she said, which I remember other stuff, but all that matters is that you feel good. What else matters? Because what else can you do if you don't feel good? I bless feeling good, you know? And even if it's not true, bless it until it is. Just keep putting your blessings over it. Bless every single thing that you have. Bless the ability that you have to be able to write, to read, to learn, to retain knowledge. Bless the job that you have. You don't have to, you don't have to like the job. But if you can, I guarantee if you keep blessing that job, you will get a job that you do like. You'll get a job that you love. You keep blessing something, it'll lead you to something that you love. You don't have to like necessarily like the position. But you know what? If you keep blessing it, I guarantee you that'll change. That will change. Everything that we bless grows. It's like the highest form of gratitude to bless anything. So everything that we bless, we're saying we're grateful for. And what you give gratitude for grows. And what you don't, it diminishes. Anything we criticize will flee away from us. Anything that we give love to and we shower with love and we embrace, it grows and it thrives. And it feels good. So that is my video and my take on blessing everything in your life. Check, check out my blog newdays.com and read about what I'm just what I just spoke about blessing everything everything in your life check out my blog don't forget if you like this video hit the like and subscribe button share it um, I, I am so grateful for you watching my videos and for you subscribing to my channel bless you Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Peace.